On 2015, EA released Star Wars Battlefront 2. It was an action shooter game that absolutely has no story slash multiplayer. It was an okay game with 87 87% of people who played it saying they liked it. Two years later and EA released Star Wars Battlefront 2 and oh boy was it a disaster. It was absolutely pay to win. You had to pay double the game's actual price just to get a just to get a character. A single character. It was so hated it got the record for the most downvoted post on Reddit. Just imagine that. Not only that, but EA got sued for the loot boxes. Well, why did they get sued? Because it's literal gambling. You had to pay money for a chance to get a prize. And that's literally gambling. What's even worse, the response was hilarious. Here it is. Of your games. Kelly? Well, first, we don't call them loot boxes. I think that was... Whatever a, term but, but, you wish to apply yeah, to them, so, do so, you consider them ethical? So, what we look at as as surprise mechanics. No. Um, right. But I think it's important to look at this. So, uh, if, yeah. if you go to if you go to a... Uh, I don't know what your version of Target is, but as a store that sells a lot of toys, and you do a search for surprise toys, what you'll find is that this is something people enjoy. They enjoy surprises. And so it's, it's something that's been part of toys for years, whether it's Kinder Eggs or Hatchimals or LOL Surprise. Um, we do think the way that we have implemented these kind of mechanics, and, and FIFA, of course, is our big one, our FIFA Ultimate Team and our packs, is actually quite ethical and quite fun, enjoyable to people. Um, we agree with the UK Gambling Commission, the Australian Gambling Commission, and many other gambling commissions that they aren't gambling. And we also disagree that there's evidence that shows it leads to gambling. Instead, we think it's like many other products that people enjoy in a very healthy way uh, and like the element of surprise. Okay, so just to be absolutely clear, <laughs> your loot boxes or surprise mechanics, you have no ethical qualms whatsoever with. Uh, so I, I think you're recharacterizing my language. What I said is I think the way we've implemented our FIFA Ultimate Team packs is ethical. Okay. Other than FIFA and, and other games that you provide, do you have are you, are you equally comfortable and relaxed? About For all of the games we have on the market that have a randomized content mechanic, a surprise mechanic. People tried to get EA to stop their pay to win mechanics, but it was too late. EA barely listened, and they became a meme. It was official. EA's reputation was ruined. Two years later, out of nowhere came out Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. And boy, was it amazing. It was what everyone wished for. Well, here is why. First of all, it had barely, almost none in our purchases everything was free and quite easy to get second of all the story was amazing it was extremely interesting and exciting and I, and I would recommend you check it out and probably lastly the gameplay was insane from parkour to battles and much more Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order was truly a great game Truly the last thing I want to talk about. In this game, Darth Vader was terrifying. It was the first time anyone would get scared from Vader in a video game. Well, why? Here are the reasons. First of all, you can't fight him. You have to run away because let's be honest, you stand no chance against against him. Second of all, I would probably say the elevator cutscene was why? Because it was extremely intense. Have a look at it. Let's get out of here. Come on. Get 
Stay back! And then, when you would get out of the elevator, you would know he's coming, but you don't know from where he would come. That's kind of similar to the fear of the unknown. And that's all. He is repetition was saved. Not only that, but Battlefront 2 was also fixed. It's not pay to win anymore. But I will leave that to the next video, because it really deserves its own video. So, you have made it this far. Well, impressive. Um, sorry for not uploading for two months. I couldn't really upload because of school. But from now on, I'll try to upload weekly. And yeah, uh, it's been a fun time at this channel doing many things. And I can't wait to start uploading videos because I have so many video ideas that I really want to make. And yeah, anyways, goodbye.